Hi friends, it has been a while since I made my last video so I thought of uh, putting up another video to educate the people about uh, the markets. So now today's topic is something really interesting. Some of you must be already aware about this thing which has happened in the past. This happened somewhere around the month of April 2017. And this is all about a person, a trader, a day trader who lost 25 lakh rupees in just 5 minutes. Now, uh, some of you who must have read this article before or must have seen it on the news channels must be aware of this fact, how this happened. But I would like to educate all those newbies or the new retailers who are not aware about this thing. See, FNO, that is future and options, look very fascinating from the fence because there are people who have made 100 rupees into 10,000 bucks or there are people who have made like uh, 1 lakh rupees in just 2 or 3 sessions using FNO but it's not that simple personally it took me 3 years to understand the intricacies which are involved in option trading and I'm still not a master in it let me confess that so uh, what happened will come to the story there's a guy called Chirag Gupta he's from uh, he's a student and his age was around 27 years old so he took a bet of around 11,250 bucks Box on nifty option and this was during expiry so this is in the month of april 2017 wherein nifty was somewhere trading around 8500 8600 so what he did is he took a few calls of 8600 option now he basically put a market order at 325 okay so there's just five minutes for the expiry to end so at 325 he punches an order to buy almost uh, uh, almost 3000 quantities of nifty lot for those people who are not aware about this thing nifty lot size is 75 so if you want to buy one lot you're buying eventually 75 units of nifty so about 3000 units the amount he paid was close to 11,250 now he made some calculations that based on the prices at which nifty is available if nifty crosses 8,600 he would be in a decent gain Nifty closes around 8602. He sees his net position at 6.5 lakh. Just imagine, you know, investing 11,250 bucks and you get this kind of thing. Now, he did one little mistake, and that is he didn't wind up his positions, and that to an expiry day. Now, end the, end, at the end of the day, when he looks into the position book, he realizes that his loss is cumulative to 24 lakhs now I just imagine the kind of horror he must be going through winding up the positions expecting that he has made a lot of gains but finally realizing he has eventually made a big loss on contacting the broker the broker said that this is a result of paying STD so now here's a complication what exactly happened you must be trying to conceptualize basically friends what happens is when you buy options be it calls be it puts you pay an STD while selling these options. So while you're buying, you're not actually paying that thing. Now what happens is in case you fail to pay that STD, that is around 0.05, you pay 0.125% as an STD. So in this case, his amount which he had to pay on the options, on the contract value based on STD because he has not closed the positions, okay? So based on that, it comes around 6 point some lakhs. Now, based on the interview, he said that I was having more money. I could have bought 30 times more than what I had actually bought, but there was not much liquidity. In fact, I bought in all the nifty units at, available at that point of time. If those were available, he would have ended up paying 4.5 crores as STD. Now, that's a basic flaw of our Indian system. Though the brokers are very particular, what they do is uh, after 310, 315, especially on expiry days, you must have observed that broker send you a message that uh, due to expiry we are going to liquidate the intraday positions or other positions by 320 or 315 days depending upon the broker which you are having but when someone is placing these orders at 325 or 327 brokers have a very little excess or, or control over these things and you fall into a problem or a, you become a prey because a lot of writers over there but hardly any buyers over there or sellers over there so you get caught over there in that process and if you are not able to sell it out at the right time that is by 329 and 59 seconds then you can also become a victim like this so my suggestions what are the lessons we learn from here is first i give you a very simple trick even if you are playing the expiry gamble because i know a lot of people play this expiry gamble place the orders on intraday basis at least you won't run the risk of uh, holding on to that positions even by a broker's mistake okay second if 
if at all you are holding on to some positions and option position uh, of that expiry i always recommend most of my clients to wind up that positions max to max by tuesday or wednesday early early beginning because anyways there will be uh, theta erosions that is time decay anyways you are going to lose on the value so it's better to be safe and rather than uh, buying options of the present scenario wait for some time and then buy for the next series and third in case in case you are playing that gamble between 320 to 330 Make sure you wind up your positions by 325 because most of the big investors are going to shut down their positions by that time. So I hope this is educative because I don't want that my followers by investing 11,000 bucks they get into debt of 24 lakh. Mr. Chirag Gupta is still fighting his case in the courts. I don't know what would be the outcome, but it's better to be safe than causing this kind of damage. So next time I'll again come up with some more informative videos. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe this channel so that you don't miss any. educative uh, informative stuff related to financial investments or motivation and after all it's free so please hit the like button and subscribe the channel thank you so much